Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. This is part 3 of the computer games and the brain video series. If you haven't watched the previous videos, be sure to check them out. I'll include the links in the comments section. Let's take a look at today's episode. You may already know that the original series was created on the YouTube platform. Minefield is one such series hosted by Michael Stevens on the Vsauce YouTube channel. In one of the episodes, Michael Stevens becomes a lab rat and undergoes various experiments. By using himself as a test subject, he attempts to validate existing scientific knowledge. In episode 2 of season 1 of Minefield, titled Your Brain on Video Games, Michael Stevens participates in experiments related to computer games and the brain and evaluates the effects of video games on the brain. Before conducting this experiment, it had already been proven that playing computer computer games can lead to brain development and this can be measured. In this case, Michael Stevens is attempting to replicate the same results to evaluate whether they can be reproduced. Specifically, he is attempting to evaluate whether the brain development gained by playing computer games can be applied to other tasks or activities. In the experiment, he played computer games for 10 days to evaluate whether they could improve decision making and memory. In addition, he also evaluated whether the improved memory and decision making skills gained from playing computer games could be applied to other tasks or activities. Michael conducted this experiment in collaboration with the University of California. In the experiment, Michael created a large maze with various objects placed at different locations. Initially, he attempted to collect all the objects by walking through the entire maze and recorded the time taken to complete the task. After playing computer games for some time, he repeated the same activity and recorded the time taken to complete the task again. To navigate a maze like this, one needs to possess good decision-making skills and a good memory. If your memory has improved, you should be able to complete the task more quickly. In this experiment, Michael noted an improvement in their memory and decision-making abilities. By conducting the experiment again, Michael has been able to confirm the previously obtained results. That means when playing computer games, our decisions make ability and memory are developed. But computer games also have a big dark side, which we should definitely be aware of. I will talk about that in an upcoming video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.